Happy Saturday. <laughs> we are here in Julian Woods, which is right outside State College, Pennsylvania. And it's basically an intentional community here where there's some wonderful folks, including my friend Robert Forsberg here, who are growing a lot of their own food. A lot of them have built and built their own homes out here and uh, just creating a really beautiful community on planet Earth. And so I'm going to ask Rob a few questions here about the work that he's doing um, related to the Resonance Project, which is a really incredible thing. And uh, we can just have a little triangular conversation here as we walk mm -hmm. through this this beautiful place. Okay. So, your name is Robert Forsberg, is that right? That's, that's, it's been that all my life, so <laughs> uh, far. Right on, yeah. well, let's uh, just cruise on up this way. Okay. So, if you could um, first explain to me, I, I know you are uh, recently been involved with the Resonance Project. Could you explain to me what that is? Yeah, it, um, it, it, Nassim Harriman mm -hmm. is the primary person in that. Um, um, actually, it's easier for me to tell you how I found out about it. Yeah. Uh, it, it, yeah. We get this these series of movies, the spiritual cinemas, uh -huh. every month, and, and The Black Hole, mm -hmm. which was a, a video by Nassim Harem, put out by the same group that makes a lot of these spiritual cinemas. Mm -hmm. But it was a, an extra on the video. Uh, it wasn't the main feature, but mm -hmm. as soon as I saw that, I realized I have to know more about this. Mm -hmm. Because the black hole, it's titled Black Hole, spelled black, W-H-O-L-E. Ah, very nice. <laughs> so it's a new... Uh, understanding of the universe mm -hmm. and um, let's see um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of where to start mm -hmm. um, as soon as I saw it well I, I've always been interested in building things and how the world works and mm -hmm. so physics was kind of my thing I studied but I never really got a job doing that I've never really had a job, as mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I work all the time and living in this community. It's just not a not a classical job. No, the it's money more, part is it's not a more ever been the it's a more important aspect of life. It's mm -hmm. it's it's participating together and um, living in, as a as part of the whole. Mm -hmm. uh, but the black hole idea is. Uh, Something that scientists have, actually Einstein predicted way back in his theory. Mm -hmm. And then in time, a lot of data that came in more recently, especially, shows there are black holes that are in every galaxy. Mm -hmm. And so it's starting to um, you know, confirm a lot of predictions. Uh, in observations, but it also, this is what Nassim began to discover at the age of 10, and if you watch the movie, mm -hmm. uh, he'll tell Which that we'll story. Which we'll post the link to some of his videos. Yeah, well, the, the Resonance Project mm -hmm. dot org, mm -hmm. or just look up Resonance Project, mm -hmm. you'll get it in yeah. Google. Nassim Harriman. N A S S I M H A R A M E I N. Okay. Uh, it's not hard to find him. Yeah. Google is <laughs> searching is really the good. The Google will connect us. Yeah. Um, so, um, I guess um, the main point of this whole thing that is is shifting where. Uh, scientists especially are going with it is that science has is mainstream science let's say mm -hmm. and not metaphysics but 
mainstream science is pretty much thinks only in terms of physical objective, objective reality mm -hmm. and and uh, stays away from the invisible mm -hmm. or rather spiritual stuff mm -hmm. although now they can't avoid the invisible because most of everything we do with technology and everything like that that thing you're holding your hand <laughs> this crazy device is understanding a lot of <laughs> invisible things like yes flow of electrons and stuff like that mm -hmm. so um but so th science is uh tr and trying to understand the 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 uh the universe and how uh but there's a dilemma uh with Classical physics basically describes the macro mm -hmm. environment. Quantum physics, the micro environment, what's mm -hmm. basically invisible to us. But the mathematics and the so on don't jive. Mm -hmm. So there's something missing or some misunderstanding about or some incorrect assumptions about how we're going about it. Yeah. And so science basically keeps looking for a fundamental particle. And... Uh, what Nassim began to realize that maybe it's not a fundamental particle that we should be looking for, but rather a fundamental principle mm. or pattern by which the universe divides, I by see. which the universe is built. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's what's taking us off in a different direction. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, he's come up with some uh, what looked look pretty convincingly is a solution to Einstein's field equations, mm. the field theory. Wow. So, but, but the significance of all this is really um, because, as as we all, many of us are beginning to think and realize, is that everything is interconnected mm -hmm. in the universe. You, you don't understand anything by looking at parts. Mm -hmm. Got to look you at the black hole. You can't even understand hole. the part because the part doesn't exist outside of the hole, and many spiritual people would would tell you that. Mm -hmm. But um, so um, <laughs> so th this is there's a lot of of res good results now happening here with mm -hmm. with um, understanding how the universe works. So I don't know if anyone should go into more detail there, but. Well, that's that's a great introduction, yeah. and I think if if people are interested, there there's many amazing YouTube videos to watch from Nassim. Yeah. And I feel like as we're as we're uh, learning these things, it really can have a profound impact on our lives when we start to change our beliefs about how the world fits together it completely changes our, our value system and how we could structure our society and I think just move us in a much better direction than where we're currently absolutely currently and, at. And, and if I might just add then yeah. it, I think it'll it'll start to open up what we need to do as humans to survive in the future mm -hmm. what what it is about the way we're our culture, the way we're commonly thinking, um, that needs to change mm -hmm. in order to get in sync with the rest of the universe, to resonate. Yes, yes. <laughs> with each other, and and so it really comes down to how do we get along with each other, and how do we go on living on this planet? I think planet? it starts or, with or, a, with a free hug. Yeah. Uh, in fact, living <laughs> as uh, recognizing that we're not the only beings in the universe. Mm -hmm. But we can now rejoin the whole galactic community. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, scoobly do lots to explore. Uh, please share any questions, comments, ideas, any questions you have for Robert. I could pass along the questions. Um, we'll post some some links to a lot of these things. There is amazing things happening here on planet Earth in 2011. We're almost to 11, 11, 11, whatever's going to happen then. <laughs> so stay tuned yep. and do, do your peaceful puzzle piece, my friends. Thank you.